some of these challenges. See these, we're going to clear out this bit here where the guys are standing. This is quite a few big rocks, um, and we do need some down here because we're not going to be able to put sacks. Well, I mean, we could put some sacks here, but uh, over here, of course, we can't. And uh, so rocks will be our friend in that sense. So we're going to put as many rocks as we can along there um, just to add strength to the whole thing. So anyway, shifting those rocks is not easy. Um, but yeah, we're going to try. Here we go. Shifting it. I would go and help, but when you're doing stuff like this, language barrier, because <laughs> you obviously need to be able to communicate in the moment. Left, right, careful, all that type of stuff. And um, anyway, end up feeling like a lemon on this side. I'm not doing it. So, here you go, look. See, this is how much they've managed to dig. So, most of this has been lifted. It's actually quite hard to get the first lot off because of the grass, of all the roots, etc. So, they've cleared the top layer and they've started to really remove some of the soil, here's some sacks, bridge. Those are the teenagers doing the getting the sand down to sell. This is where they're scooping it from. Um, yeah, the campsite the, with their lunch on, the boil. I brought those uh, poles down. I thought they could use them as levers, but they made a bridge. <laughs> so, uh, we'll see how it goes. It's a big one, that one. There's a uh, justice or hospital representative. There we go, it's going. It's gonna go. Let's see that one behind. I'm gonna get up the bank now. So day two in the site. See all the kids carrying sacks, that's sand, which they, they upstream, they go up, there's a place upstream, what they'll do is they'll come where it's deposited some sand, they'll collect the sand, move it down there, and then they create a big, there's a big pile of sand at the beginning entrance, you might have noticed, and then they will then sell that sand. Um, so yeah, so you'll see a bunch of kids just running down here with sacks on their shoulders, that's what they're doing. Anyway, these ones are our sacks, you can see the men have really um, started with them, which is great. So, um, it's more over here, which is obviously they're really heavy. Um, we're waiting for some eucalyptus poles to be cut, which will allow us to sort of really start constructing the dam. Uh, we have to sort of be careful how we do it. Well, there's small kids. We have to be careful how we do it because uh, it's rainy season at the moment, very heavy rain, and we don't want to put something up and then the worrying to wash it away. So we sort of have to get everything, all the materials ready, then we quickly construct it um, so it will hold if there is a rain, heavy rain event. Um, so yeah, so timing is sort of critical. The same token, if we just leave them here, they just obviously get, the soil inside will get wet. When it rains, it's really heavy, even hard to shift. So it's a bit of a, a balancing act. Um, here goes some more, more people. Um, and this is, you know, Sometimes it's, uh, if you're watching this uh, and you're in the West, uh, this is an example of poverty. Uh, you know, hard breaking, hard work. Um, but these the folks doing this, they you know they don't often won't have a job. They've got no income. Uh, COVID has really hit. Uh, they're not in school. 
even if they were in school, they might have left school to do this because uh, at the end of the day, this will pay them a pittance, but it will allow them then to put food on the table. This is sort of daily, daily labour. Um, this is the sort of thing we're talking about. So we're just digging a hole here. Um, you can see there's a, I'll give you the orientation river, big rock here, big rock down there. So we're going to build it, it's going to be, we'll obviously use the natural features, the rocks, um, but we want to sort of put some stakes into the ground, which will help hold the sacks in place. So this will be one of the places. So we sort of need to see what's underneath. Where there's rock, of course, you can't, you can't make holes in that. We don't, we don't have the right equipment for that. Um, uh, so yeah, so we're just going to try and use the lateral landscape. There's another bit here where we're going to build this. We're just going to check what's underneath here because um, it's sloped. There's obviously a hole at the other side of these guys, and, and that's the water goes down there traditionally. So we're just going to clear this bit, and see what we've got to work with.